How's it going guys? In this video we're going to um, learn how to activate your 33 touch campaigns. Okay, so assuming you went to mykw.kw.com, signed in, and now you're logged into your eEdge. You're going to go of course in your eEdge control panel under the My Marketing. You're going to click on this little plus sign right there. All right, and then the second option is going to be manage and create your campaign. So manage, create your campaigns. Okay, <clears throat> and if you have any campaigns activated, you'll of course see the name of your campaign, the type of campaign it is, the activities, emails, and direct mailing, um, the next time that campaign is going to send out any material, and how many number of contacts in that campaign, along with the actions you can take for that campaign. We'll go through that in a minute. <clears throat> So in order to start activating yours, you're going to go over here, which it says build a new campaign. We're going to click on basic right now, and then I'll run through the advanced one in the next video. So click on basic, and then you're going to want to click right here. It's going to say choose a pre-built campaign. You're going to click on view all. And then, of course, if you have the pro version, you'll have way more options. But uh, for this um, series, we're going to actually have the basic ones. And a lot of people ask me, What's the difference between these regular campaigns and the team versions? There's always a team version in each campaign. The team version, the only difference is the I's turn into we's. So if it's I sell real estate, it'll be we sell real estate, okay? So right now we're going to want to click on 33 touch, right time, right move. Right? It's going to be uh, emails going to be all emails are going to be selected, so it's going to be free to us. And then if you want, click on campaign elements and you're going to see all the emails and activities in these campaigns. So you're going to click on the first one. Okay, so this is the exact email that's going to be sent out to my client. All right, I like what I see. Just click this little X box. All right, and then after you've seen all the material, click scroll up and click check off next step. Okay. Then after that, you just insert your contacts. You can do either a few ways. You could select all, or you can go by group. That's why the groups are very important, guys. If as soon as you add contacts, you put in a group. So let's say I have investors, buyers, sellers, and I only want my buyers to see it. I'll check off right here. Okay, so let's say I have my one-on-ones that I just want. Want I get this campaign? Click on the one-on-ones. Check off add. And it's gonna say, okay, you have 13 contacts. Check off, I previewed all my campaign elements. Click on Add Contacts to Campaign. Okay, all of them will move over here. Then you'll just click on Save Campaign. Okay, then your campaign is going to be in here. So mine is right here 33 touch, right time, right move. Okay. All right, and then just to let you know, what can you do with these actions tabs? So in this campaign, when you click on the little gears tab, you can pause the campaign. Manage delivery options, which is uh, email subject lines, things like that. You can add or remove contacts, rename the campaign, duplicate or delete it. Okay, guys? So that is how you activate your 33Touch.